I am pretty sure you have had that situation. The client sends you the new photos via Google Drive or Dropbox and you just want to upload them to your website. And here you are, one hour later, downloading and uploading photos to your website. Really, really nerve-wracking, right? You can solve that really different and easy with CI Hub. And today I'm going to show you how to do it. First, let's talk about why it's so unnecessary and also dangerous to download assets, for example, images from Google Drive and Dropbox to your WordPress website. Reason number one you shouldn't do that is because it's a possible source of mistakes. You could end up downloading the wrong images and then putting them on your desktop and then from there catching the wrong images to upload. So it's really just a source of possible mistakes you can avoid. Another reason it's really not good to do it via download and upload is you never have a real-time connection between those two sources. So if you really connect your, let's say, Google Drive or Dropbox to WordPress, then anyone who has access to that Google Drive or Dropbox can change the images and update the assets anytime. They don't need any access to your WordPress dashboard, which also makes it easier for them to collaborate without knowing WordPress. So if you have a client who does not often work with WordPress, it's maybe easiest to just connect a Google Drive space, Dropbox space or any other cloud storage to your WordPress media storage. So now that it's clear that it's not really the best solution to download and upload assets by hand, I want to show you how to do it in a better way. So let's just start into the demo. The first thing you want to do is install the CI Hub plugin. The CI Hub plugin can be found in the WordPress repository under the name of CI Hub. So let's start with that. So the CI Hub connector is what we're searching for and I will install that now. The CI Hub connector is something you can also use outside of WordPress. It's basically just a system to connect all your assets, may it be images or logos or fonts or videos, anything you use. CI Hub also connects to WordPress with this plugin. What you need in order to be able to use the plugin is a CI Hub login, which you can just create on ci-hub.com. You can start your free 30-day trial on the website and simply have your login ready there. And then all you need to do is go to your media library and that's where you will find the CI Hub link that's under add new and then CI Hub. So I click on that and then um, this image will open and I will be able to log in or even register if I don't have an account yet. So let's log in. So once I am logged in, I can simply close this tab and go back to my WordPress dashboard. So now I need to add the connections. I now connected to my CI Hub login, but I'm not yet connected to, let's say, Google Drive or Dropbox. So let's just do that. I go to connections and click on this small plus icon here. Let's pick Dropbox first. So I will be redirected to dropbox.com where I can log in and authorize CI Hub to be able to um, access my Dropbox. All right, now I am also connected to Dropbox. I can now close this window and go back to WordPress. I now already have here my first um, file, which is in my Dropbox. It's an example logo I just added for demo purposes. Let's also connect another source. I will again go to connections and plus and pick Google Drive this time. And it works exactly the same. I can log in with my account. And that's it. So really 
not hard to do that. I can close the window and now I have Google Drive connected as well. So here we have the navigation. I can just go through all my files. If I need something, I can get it here. So first maybe let's get an image from Google Drive in order to use it on our website. I have a shared drive with my team where we share our newest team photos. So for portraits, etc., that's what we use. So I navigated to this folder. It's basically the folder structure that I know from Google Drive. It's the, the exact same. And here I can find several JPEG files. I can now pick, let's say, Corin's photo. And I can say I want to add it to WordPress. So I can click on use file. It's this little download icon here. And then that's where the magic happens. I am asked to uh, pick the conversion if I want to convert it in some way. And I can also save the image locally. There's also an option to already automatically convert, let's say, open files like Illustrator files that you want to save as a PNG. I will later on show you that as well. So let's pick this image and I will click OK and import that. That's just the basic stuff, right? It's possible to add images from Google Drive. The functionality in Dropbox is even more elaborated. I here added an Illustrator file in my Dropbox and I can use this Illustrator file as soon as I click on use file, the same pop-up comes up and now I have several options. Remember, this is an open Illustrator file that I just uploaded to my Dropbox. So it's really not an image at the moment. And I can automatically convert it to PNG in several formats and also JPEG in several formats. So let's pick PNG, maybe this size will fit and I'll just click on use. I don't want to save it locally. So I click OK and I add it. And that's already it. As you can see, I now have these media items in my media library. Also good to know is that you can use the CI Hub connector directly within Gutenberg or even Elementor or any other page builder you're using because it's seamlessly integrated to the WordPress media library. So as soon as I add an image block, let's say I can go to media library and here I have the tab of CI Hub and I can do the same all over again. So it's really easy and handy to get images and also update them. So if I go to this Illustrator file now and I uh, open it via my Dropbox on my computer and I change the color of these trees, let's say I make them yellow. As soon as I save that, I will have an update possibility here right in WordPress. So I can just reload the folder and I'll have a different version of that right in the WordPress dashboard and I can just update what I already placed. So really easy and handy to do. So that's already what I wanted to show you today. As you saw, it's really easy to connect WordPress with your Google Drive or any other cloud storage that's on the web. It's very easy and it's also saving you a lot of time and possible mistakes. So just try it out. You have a 30-day free trial available on ci-hub.com. I am very curious to read about what you guys are thinking of that plugin. Also, if you have any feature requests or ideas how you could use that plugin, just drop it in the comments and subscribe our channel for more tips on how to use CI Hub and how to connect your WordPress to literally any source. See you next time.